hypothesis testing using the Yates formula for contingency tables. This formula is the standard formula used um, to work out the test statistic when uh, dealing with contingency tables. It's in the formula book. You can modify this formula quite easily to get the Yates formula and this is what you do. Put two vertical lines like this and I'll come back to what they mean. Minus 0 0.5. There you go, that's the Yates formula. To enter this in your calculator, start with the fractions key, open brackets. To get these two vertical lines, you need this key here, the absolute value of something, ABS. There. Enter 2.59 minus 5.04. So that part there is here between these red vertical lines. Scroll to the right, minus 0 0.5, close brackets, squared over 5.04. There you go. And then you write this down and then you work out the next value and so on. Let's have a closer look at what this function actually does. Now 1 minus 3 should give you minus 2. If you press equals it gives you plus 2. Uh, in effect all it's doing is, is it's just taking away the minus sign. If there's a negative number it removes the minus. If it's a positive number uh, positive numbers are unaffected, they are as they are. So for instance if you did 5 minus 3 which is 2 the answer is 2. Okay that's all it's doing. You don't need to know any more than that for your course. So memorize this formula. It's not given to you in the formula book. Okay we have a table here with observed values, O values and what we have is gender and language studied. So H0 language studied is, is independent of gender, H1 language studied is not independent of gender. Work out the row, column and table totals. Work out the expected values and the formula for that as you know is row total times column total divided by table total. Work out the test statistic. You can do all of these calculations directly in your calculator and just write down the value for each one. So there's four of them here and then add them together afterwards, which is what the sigma here is telling you to do. To show your method, you should write down the formula and show the first two calculations that you intend to do. So brackets and then you've got the O value there is 39 that's the expected value so 39 minus 36.67 there everything in the brackets and then squared over the E value okay that's the first one done for that cell plus brackets 16 minus 18.33 minus 0 0.5 squared all over 18.33 plus dot 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 and then you can just write down what the answer is. Okay, this is our test statistic. From the chi-squared tables, because we have a 2 by 2 table, V or the number of degrees of freedom will be 1. In this question we're working with a 5% significance level. So look at P is 0 0.95, V is 1. That gives you this critical value. Mark everything on your sketch. Here's the critical value. Here is our test statistic. And this is just a number line starting from 0 here. Clearly we're going to accept H0 because a TS value did not fall in the critical region. 
this is the critical region at this end. So we say there is no significant evidence that language depends on gender. As you can see, there is not much difference between the Yates formula and the one in the formula book. Doing the contingency test, whether you're using Yates or the formula that's in the formula book, and just as a reminder I'll show you here, that's this formula here. The way you do the test is the same. Yeah, there's just a slight change to the formula because this value here is approximately distributed as chi-squared but that's not so true when you have a 2 by 2 table. So with the Yates correction, so with the Yates formula, you have a better approximation to the chi-squared tables. That's why you do this.